Hey guys, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and we're getting ready to paint a turkey pilgrim door hanger. And this is what he looks like. Is he not so cute? And so these are the colors we're gonna be using. They are all deco art matte um, uh, Americana matte acrylic paints. This color is primary yellow. We have canyon orange, tomato red, honey brown, bluegrass green, my favorite, and Hauser medium green. <clears throat> um, I had planned to paint something for Christmas tonight, but um, I didn't have the blank ready that I needed in order to paint the Christmassy design that I was gonna paint. So we may have to do that another time because, um, because I've been gone almost all day. I'm just now um, getting around to checking to see what I had and all, all I had was a turkey on hand. So I thought we would paint a turkey instead and I hope you guys don't mind. So the color I just used to paint his entire body was honey brown. This color's called tomato red. I've never used it before, but I thought it was really pretty. It's kind of a, a deeper red than the true red or the primary red that I use a lot. So I thought I would try it. Um, <clears throat> each feather is going to have different colors. Okay, I think we'll do that instead. Okay, so that'll be yellow, red, okay. So, um, the blue that I chose was bright blue. That's the only color I added. Okay, this is the bright blue. We're gonna do this on this wing up here. Wing, <laughs> this feather. I keep saying wing. It's gonna be a very colorful turkey. And then we might go back and do polka dots on top of each feather. Okay, this yellow is a little bright. I may, actually, I think I used the wrong yellow. Okay, so a little trick here, this is a teaching moment. If you squeeze out color and you don't wanna waste the paint and you wanna put it back, use your brush like a little spoon, scoop it up, take the lid off, and just place it right back in the bottle. No big deal. So I didn't waste any, hardly at all, just whatever was on my brush that gets rinsed out. I'm gonna swap colors. We're not gonna use this primary yellow. It's really, really bright. And I didn't realize that until I squirted it out next to these other colors, and then I realized it was like excessively bright. I want it to kind of have like a little bit of a muted color scheme. This color is called Marigold. So it's yellow, but it's like a muted yellow. So see the difference? It's a little bit of a mustard without being too dark. Marigold. So I painted over the face. But look, you can still see the shape of the eyes and you can see, I'll still see the little beak. <laughs> She's wild. Okay, I'm trying to stay inside the lines and get my eyeballs on my turkey painted. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys this paint color. What is it? It is light mocha. It's kind of an off-white kind of color. All right, so we're gonna use our little polka dot sponger and we're just gonna do little polka dots all over these little leaves, leaves, these little feathers. And we're gonna kinda keep all the polka dots the same color so that it gives, it's so that it's not like too crazy wild and busy. And then when you dot, do like a little bit of a twist. And I'm scraping the excess off of my sponge dauber each time. This is looking cute. After we get this done, we'll go through and we'll add some little details and stuff to really make it pop. All right, so I did that little polka dot half on and half off and I just wiped off the excess, which you could do that with a baby wipe also. All right, so this is what we've got so far. Look how cute he is. Let's go ahead and do some um, details. I'm gonna get a round tip brush. That one looks pretty good. So you just have to be real relaxed. Kind of like Bob Ross is when he paints. I watched one of his videos the other day. It's been a long time since I watched any of his videos. 
and I watched him paint and I thought, man, he's like so relaxing. I'd forgotten just how calming he is. And it's because he doesn't really get worked up. He just paints and enjoys the process. It's like therapy. You always add an outline to your drawing hangers. Almost always. I think that's just like what I like to do. That's my own like personal style, I guess. I don't know. It's just not everybody does, but I, I like the way they look with the outline on them. And so I always do. But that doesn't mean that my way is the only way to do them. You just decide what you like and what your personal style is and go with that. Because I know a lot of people who don't add outlines to their door hangers. And I always think they're very cute. They're just different from my style. There's not a wrong way. I just like the way mine look better with an outline. I feel like it makes the colors pop. It makes it look a little bit more polished. It definitely makes painting it a little less stressful because I know that at the end I'm going to like go around it with a black outline and it's going to kind of clean it up a little bit and tidy up any little stray places where I might have gotten out of the lines. And so it makes me worry less about those little things because I know it doesn't have to be just perfect to be cute. But my style is also very whimsical, so... Okay, I think my nose, my beak or whatever of my turkey needs one more coat because it's looking, the, the orange didn't cover the brown as well as I had wanted it to. Let me go over that one more time. It's actually three coats of orange on there. The red covered pretty well though. And then I'll outline it with black. There we go. Um, I do need to add just a little, I forgot, I do need to add a little bit up here, kind of as a, um, well, I don't know that I want to outline that little buckle because it may take away too much of the, the yellow. So I may not do that after all. Okay, let's add just a few accents with like white or off-white maybe. Here we go. I got a thinner round tip brush and I'm going to use this and I'm going to thin out just a little bit of this, what color was this? Light mocha. It's the color we did the polka dots in. I'm thinning it up just a little bit and just gonna kinda add just a few little highlights on his feet, on his nose, and his comb and wattles, and his eyes. Do a little dot. Mama. A little bit on the edge of the buckle. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of black and mix it with this light mocha to create kind of a a grayish color and I'm going to use that as like a little highlight on my polka dots it's just creating a really light gray and I'm just going to highlight my little polka dots with that now I'm not going to do any words in the middle of this turkey but you could do um, gobble till you wobble or Happy Turkey Day, or your family name, something like that. But I'm not going to do any, any words on him just now. Look how cute he is. He's all ready to go on my door for Thanksgiving. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the color of the turkey's body is Honey Brown. Honey Brown by Deco Art. So... All right, well, I'm going to go see if my husband's asleep on the couch and I get my kids ready for bed. I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday night. And I'll see you guys again later. Y'all have a great day. Bye.